Today we're going to take the DeSoto out for another ride. This time I've got to go to the post office and I figured I'll get this thing out. This is obviously quite original. I removed the floor mats because they were nasty. It has an electric pump in line, also the mechanical fuel pump, so I'm going to let it prime for a little bit. And this is the starter button right here. It's a neutral clutch in in case for some reason it isn't. And we're running. It's a little beat up. The paint's got some patina if that's what you want to call it on it. It runs pretty smooth. The engine has never been opened since it came out of the factory in 1948. Back in the cabin, you won't find too many amenities other than this, which is pretty nifty. Get some fresh air in here through there. And of course, suicide doors in the back. And this does have a heater too. It sits right under there. Although the last time I drove this, it did catch on fire just a little bit. So that's why I've got the water this time. And it's sitting now at 110,203 miles. It's got a safety clutch down there. You can see it on my driving shoes. So it's got a torque converter and then it's also got a clutch so we have see that's first and second or this is like third and fourth or second and third it's some weird configuration that doesn't really work properly anymore the clutch is kind of a suggestion it's the weirdest thing you'll ever drive and it doesn't make sense anymore but back then it would have been pretty cool so to start off let's clutch in and up so now I'm engaging first gear while on the brake and then I simply let off and we're off in first gear If I let off the gas, it's going to shift into second gear. Okay, it's not. It, it should have, but it didn't. There we go. That's second gear. I don't know if you heard that little clunk there. That means it shifted into second. So now, clutch in, down into the high range. So now in, I think it's fourth gear. It's kind of hard to tell with this thing. And due to this being so old, the part of the transmission that would downshift between each gear is no longer with us. So right now it would have potentially downshifted into third from fourth, I think at some point in its life. But now if I want to go down a gear, move it up to the low range, now we're in second gear. Right, so now I'm sitting here with the clutch out and it's in neutral. So I'm going to go clutch in, up into the low range, let off the clutch so I'm still on the brake. And now I will simply set off. I think this is first or second, but I'm going to go straight down into the second range of gears, and that takes me into third. And then I'll accelerate a little bit more, then let off, and there's fourth gear. And now we're cruising. I'm going to try downshifting into second, clutch in up to the low ranges, put the gas a little bit. This thing rides so smooth over speed bumps like this. In a straight line, it's amazing. Trying to go around a corner though, it's like you're falling over. Now we're in fourth gear. I'll put my foot to the floor so you can feel the speed that is this really, really old straight six. Yeah, there's not much speed. In. I'm gonna coast to a stop in neutral. You're the speedometer cable freaking out there. It doesn't know what's going on. It's like, I've been in this car for way too long. Let me die. No. Oh, yeah. I tried to use the clutch there. You can hear how much it shook the car because it's got a remain seal leak, so the clutch is just covered in oil. So that's why I try and put it in gear while I'm still stopped. Second, who knows? I almost got to see someone get rear-ended, that would've been cool. Now, before it turns green, I'm gonna go up into first, and while I'm still on the brake, I'm letting the clutch out. So now we're stopped in second gear, I think. I know I said first, but I have no idea what I'm talking about.
as ever. And for the ride back, I'm going to introduce a little bit more air into the cabin because it is getting hot in here. And for reverse, it sometimes likes to grind if you go straight in reverse. I usually go up into first, back towards you, and then up. And now we're in reverse. That's going to do it for today's drive. 